this video I'm just going to introduce uh, the limit notation and um, talk about some basic ideas on limits. This first example has a, a graph of a function f of x, which happens to be a parabola. I'll give you a moment to uh, pause it and copy down the graph. And here's a, a limit as x approaching a 3 of f of x. Now the idea behind it is not difficult at all. All this is saying is that if you approach 3 from the x values, what y values is the graph approaching? Meaning, as I go towards 3, what's the height of the value? And you can kind of see that I kind of dotted it across. It's going to equal 4. So your limit is equal to 4. And this kind of introduces now the uh, formal limit notation is Again, I'll give you guys a second to uh, pause it and copy this down. The way you read this out loud is the limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to l. And a is just going to be some constant, some number you're going to be approaching, and l is going to be what your answer is. Okay, in this example that we just did, the constant was a 3. I was approaching 3 on the x, and it equaled a 4. So the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 is equal to 4. Now going back to uh, this example, the answer was 4 because both sides took me to 4. But you can specifically, if you want to, um, designate just one side. So you could uh, approach 3 from the left, this side, and also from the right, this side. And that's the next kind of uh, bit of notation is going to be uh, one side is our uh, limits. Okay. One side of limits now, if you want to des designate just approaching from the left, you're going to put a little negative sign up on top. Okay. And if you want to approach from only from the right, you're going to designate it with a little positive sign. Both of these are kind of like where an X point it would be. All right. And what this kind of says is a limit is only going to exist is if the left side equals the right side. I'll give you maybe a time to pause it and kind of think about that is in order for a limit to exist, this side has to meet up with that side. Meaning, the reason that this equals 4 is because both of these values met up at 4. Like my fingers crossed, my fingers touched at 4. The next example we're going to be looking at is a, uh, a piecewise function. Okay, so we have a g of x which is a piecewise and it's split over at uh, 1. And it's going to be x squared plus 1. This one over here is, uh, is 2x. And I want to figure out what the limit is as I approach uh, 1. Uh, and this, is, this should not say f of x. This should say g of x. Let me change that. Okay. All right, so the limit as I approach uh, 1 of g of x. Okay. Well, since my two-sided limit definition, so i got to figure out what happens if I approach from the left. Well, as I approach from the left, that's going to be the top part. That's going to be the x squared plus 1. And what I could do is I can plug in 1 into it, and I get my answer to equal uh, 2. So approaching from the left, means all the things that are to the left of 1, which is what less than is equal to. Now, as I approach 1 from the right, that's the things greater than 1 that's to the right of 1. So that's going to be this definition, which is 2x. So if I just plug in 2 times 1, if I plug in 1 into this definition, I end up with this equal to 2. The left side approach equals the right side approach, so I can say that my limit is equal to 2. Graphically, this is what the function looks like. It's going to be a kind of a parabola up until uh, 1, and then once it splits at 1, it's going to become straight line, which is 2x. But the notion is that they both meet up at 1, and they both meet up to equal 2. Therefore, the uh, limit is equal to 2.
And one last little tidbit is for you to just kind of think about is does this limit exist at 2? Therefore, the limit is equal to 2. Now, one last thing is a bizarre function like this, h of x, and this will lead us into the next uh, section, section 1.2, is do you think this limit at 2 exists?